Today we have four peated blended scotches going head to head. In the first corner, our reigning champion coming in at $24 and weighing in at 80 proof, Johnny Walker Red Label. In the second corner, our current runner up coming in at $17 and weighing in at 86 proof, Teacher's Highland Cream. In the third corner, coming in at $10 and weighing in at 80 proof, Lauder Scotch. In the final corner, coming in at $20 and weighing in at 80 proof, Ballantine's Finest. Which will take the top shelf as the best peated blended scotch? Let's brawl! Thanks, Joyce. We're going to go whiskeys A through D. We'll take a small break, go D through A. We'll break off, do our own thing for a bit, and we'll come back to you with results. So let's start. Glass A. It smells like scotch. Does it? I got a whiff of like smoke, applewood smoked bacon. That is very specific. Well, it wasn't pepper bacon. It was like a smoked bacon. Applewood smoked then? Okay, just smoke. Could uh, it be smoked. hickory smoke? It could be hickory smoked. I am definitely getting the smoke. Bacon, not so much. I wouldn't even say a peated smoke. I'd say like it's a smokiness, like, like a wood smoke. Like a wood smoke, yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm not really getting the bacon, but I am getting ham. All right. Like a honey ham. Close yeah. enough. Like a. Right. I can see where the apple's coming from. I'm going to take a sip. Oh, that's juicy. And smoky. Little, oh, little maritime Really waters the mouth. First drink of the day, so it's good, though. I like it. Yeah. It, it, it gives me a promising start. All, All right. right. Well, I'll spend too much time on the first one. Go on to last B. Much different. Ooh. More butter? Toffee. 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 A cookie of some kind? Not shortbread? Kind of reminds me of like a toffee or like caramel McVitie's. It's the cookie that's like kind of thin. Uh, it has a, a layer of something between two like essentially mm. pit cells. Mm. That's the cookie I'm getting. Okay, I gotta go in for a sip. Yeah. A little Ooh. thinner, but a little spicier. Yeah, I think the only downfall I have on this is I would prefer a thicker mouthfeel with yeah. it. Yeah. I All the flavors are good. It's though. very different than A. They're both good in their own ways. Yeah. I'm ready to move on to C. This nose reminds me of the last one. See, I was yes. to say this is just a third different nose for me. I would say it's closer to B than A. Yeah. But it is a different nose. I'm getting a little bit of melon on this one. Mostly I'm just getting the toffee notes, but it's not... The nose See, I'm not getting those toffee notes. Hmm. No. I'm getting more like a melon. It's somewhere between the nose notes of these two. Sure. Like the fruity sweet note on the nose and the toffee buttery note. Oh, I was going to say it's somewhere between. But for me, it's between the smoky note of the first one and the buttery toffee note of the second one. But it's not as interesting to me as the first two, but maybe it's just because I've now adapted to the whiskey. Yeah, so let's go ahead and taste and see what we're Oh, but what a wonderful mouthfeel. That one was like the opposite of B. The mouthfeel yeah. is thicker, but the flavors weren't as interesting. I wish that mouthfeel was with B. Yeah. It's gonna be tough. Let that this settle a bit, and then I'm going to go into D. This one reminds me more of the smoky note of A. Trash can fire. Yeah, I was going to say it's like a funky smoke. Yeah, I'm going with a, like a... Did you burn trash growing up, or did you guys have it taken away as a garbage can? Burn trash? Okay. Yeah, so it reminds me of like when we burn trash in, our, in, our, in a uh, trash barrel. Burn barrel, that's what it's called. Oh, we did have some trash taken away, but we also had some trash that went burning. Did you have a burn some burn? That, yeah. Ooh, I like that. That reminds me Ooh, of... Ooh, I don't like that. That really develops and changes. The mouthfeel to me, <clears throat> tastes to me like thinner. The thinner mouthfeel, like B. But then all the spice and flavor still is stronger than like C. Definitely different levels of peat here. And I'm guessing also, because it's a blended, these are all blended scotches, different levels of single malt blended in. I really don't know how I feel about that one. All right, well, that's our initial run through of glasses A through D. We're gonna take a smaller break, let our palates reset, and then we'll return with going through D to A. While we're taking our break, if you like what we're doing, give us a like down below and leave a comment down below on who you think is going to win this brawl. If you wanna see all of our other brawls, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. And now, glass D. See, I already think that's less trashy. Oh, I think this is more trashy. Yeah. Not trashy. Perfumey. Uh, no, not perfumey. I'm getting like um a very acidic throw up. No. It reminds me of like when I get like heartburn and like, you know, like no. you open your mouth a little bit and like burns really heavy. No. Don't put those notes in my mind. Like it's burning my throat in that way. And that's all it finished for me. You ruined it. Yeah, you gave me that mindset. <laughs> it, has a, it burns the throat a little bit though. 
it was sweet on the palate. I do not care for what you're doing. And speaking of we'll see, let's go to see. I see what you did there. I like uh, that. Uh, Oof. Now I'm getting that toffee caramel. I'm getting some butter. Mm -hmm. Some like yeah. movie theater like, butter. Oh, not movie theater. Oh, no, this is movie theater butter. Caramelized this, butter. Yeah, brown butter, sugar mixture. Yeah. No, this is movie theater butter. Brown butter sugar cookie. Thin mouthfeel, though. Oh, my goodness. I disagree with you. It was, it was a little thicker this time around. I thought it was really thin. I saw it in my mouth. Let's move on to B. Oh, see, here we go. Yes. That smells wonderful. Mm. Mm -hmm. I disagree. I'm getting... Ooh, what is that note? <laughs> no, I was just disagreeing like... to disagree on that one. It does smell wonderful. I'm getting, like, baking spices this time around. Y yeah, yes. I'm getting, um... What is that note? What is that note? I... Like a Christmas cookie. Like cinnamon, Ginger nutmeg... Uh, gingerbread. No, I was gonna say, um... Uh, oh, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. It's gonna be weird. Cinnamon sugar on popcorn. That's not weird. I remember when I was a kid, we would... When we were at a babysitter's, we would get like a bag of popcorn and we put cinnamon sugar in it and like shake it up. Yeah, that's not weird. The cinnamon and sugar crisp that you used to be able to get at Taco Bell. Oh, you can suck mm. at them. Can you? Yeah. Okay. I, I, but I, yes, you're right. I, I avoid Taco Bell, so I don't know what you can get there anymore. I get I get Taco Bell all the time. And I seek it out with passion. I don't know. Seek it out with gusto. Gusto. <laughs> Sir, you are 30. You could not be eating Taco Bell anymore. <laughs> I don't have the problems that you had back in high school. Sir, you are 30. You cannot be eating Taco Bell anymore. Anyways, class A. I don't like the nose so much this time around. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this nose. I'm not enjoying it as much, but I'm still enjoying it. It's not smoky this time. It's more yeah. caramely. It's more caramely and more apple-y. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a caramel apple now. Man, that is still very juicy on the, on the palate, yes. though. All right, so that was our run-throughs of glasses D through A. We'll now take some time to go our own ways and put these in our ranking, and we'll be back with results. So that actually took like almost no time at all for us. So welcome back. And we're going to go through our results, going, starting with last place. In last place is going to be glass D. I had it in last place. I also had it in last place. I had it in third. Glass D. Oh, no. Uh-huh. No. What? Are you knowing D or are you knowing something else? That's last place was teachers. Really? I would not have expected that. So this ball comes in about $20. Third place for us was glass C. I put it in third. I also put it in third. I put it in last. Glass C is Valentine's Finest. That checks out to me. This is also approximately a 20 dollar model. Coming in <laughs> second place was glass B. I had B in second place. Also second place. Second place. Unanimous second place. Glass B was Lauder's Scotch. You wanna know how much this bottle is? How much? $10. For a liter. That's really not bad for a scotch. Sweet goodness. Which puts what? in first place, glass A, which was unanimous for us, Johnny Walker Red Label. We liked that before, didn't we? Yeah, that was the previous winner. Okay. Average on SRP is 24. Is this 750 milliliter bottle of $24 Worth the extra $14 to this $10 one liter bottle. To me, yes. And I'm going to say it's because they were two completely different taste profiles. And this was a taste profile that I look for in a scotch. I don't know. This is a liter for half the price. But for me, it's having more of right. something that even, I'm inclined not even, to drink. Right. So, even, not to? even with that price, this was very, very good. It's not the scotch that I want, though. This is the scotch that I want. I'm having a hard time believing that that's the one. You think the bottles got mixed. So this is supposed to be glass A? Uh, this is supposed to be glass B. 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 <laughs> Oh, wait. No, this is our second place. Glass B got first. Glass B got first. Glass B got first. Yeah. What was glass B? Glass this. B was slaughters. Oh. So let me correct this now. 
Um, because I missed so both we, earlier. We unanimously gave this one first place. Yes. If that's the case, then absolutely I'm gonna buy this for ten dollars. <laughs> yes. Over that, if um, that's the case. So this is supposed to be glass B. Yeah, it's supposed to be glass B. Yeah, it does smell the same. Sounds a little colder, but yeah, that's the same whiskey. That's the same whiskey. Okay. Holy crap. So, so this the $10 Lauders came in first place. The Johnny Walker, Walker Red, Red is came in second. In that case, then yes, absolutely. I'm going with the Lauders at $10. Yeah, there's for there's no question. Yeah. For half the price, I get more whiskey and it's the whiskey I liked better. Right. I put the vote out into the YouTube community. We had 24 votes at the time of recording. 58% of you said that Teachers Highland Cream would win. 38% of you said that Johnny Walker Red would win. 4% of you said that Ballantines would win. And nobody said it louder as a win. Not a single one of you. <laughs> and in fact, I want to read a comment we said I had here. This is from WH3997. There is no competition if Teachers is against those three. I even did a blind against it. It, Johnny Walker Black, and Teachers High Malt content with the right amount of peat is unbeatable. Not for our palates and noses. Clearly, um, you do not know us. Uh, WH3997, um, I guess we'll never see you again. Thank you for being here for the short time you were and I appreciate it. Hot takes on 50 whiskey. <laughs> Take, this whiskey, it tastes like an Irish. Best. Man. So good. <laughs> we're just popping that top shelf with the bottom is shelf whiskeys. We're at least teaching you to be thrifty. <laughs> See, but this really speaks to what we're about. You can get a really good bottle for cheap. This whiskey is three years old. That is, that's a beautiful age statement. <laughs> Take all right, well, let's it. go ahead and uh, uh, mix all these up, I guess. Until next time, the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This, this drink's, drink's on me. me.